Hey everyone, I'm coming at you guys with a really neat video and this video is going to be about Netlify, which you can find them over at netlify.com. So you might be wondering, what is Netlify? Why is this useful to me? So Netlify is really useful if all you really want to do is just write the code and for that code to be pushed out to the site. So it's a really simple, hey, I wrote this. Hey, now push this to the live production site, right? So Maybe some of you who do build sites right now, maybe you use uh, an FTP client, so maybe like FileZilla or another client that you use for, for your file structures and your servers, um, and you just pretty much go in there, drop some files, and it shows up on the site, right? So instead of doing that whole process, you can kind of make it a lot simpler and um, kind of keep it very organized and cohesive and use, um, use your GitHub account. Um, to store your to, to store and host your files, which is really cool. So what Netlify pretty much does is that it creates an admin for you, where you're able to connect your GitHub repo, and from there you can push to production every time that your GitHub repo is updated. So before I get in into an example of how it works, I'm gonna scroll through their site really quick for you guys. So first thing, um, pricing there, the you can sign up for free, which is um, really nice and I really like this because uh, especially if you're just starting out with development or um, you don't really have money to, to to gather up and pay for a tool like this, you don't have to, especially if you're just working on your own. You can just create a personal account and it's free, it's on a trial, it's completely free. Um, if you want to work with a bigger team and create a ton of projects, then of course um, it gets a little pricier, but to start off, it's free, so that's really cool. And another cool thing that you can do is that you can um, you can do deploys from your command line. So you can install Netlify into your command line, and when you run a certain command, it'll push that 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 site to deploy, and that's it. Where that change that you made is live. So every change that you make, you can use Netlify to pick up that change from get your GitHub repo and push it up to production. And so far, like their support has been super helpful. They have a ton of docs too. So definitely recommend you guys to check them out. And um, yeah, let's get started into the example of this. So sign up for an account, you log in. And once you sign in, you're going to get presented with this getting started pane. And um, the first step is for you to connect a repo or a folder to Netlify. So you can use GitLab, uh, Bitbucket, and GitHub, I believe. I use GitHub for mine, but I believe there's other options that you can go ahead and try that with. Once it's connected, it'll ask you to authorize it, um, and you can pick a repo to give you a list of all the repos. Currently, I have it set up with this repo, which is for my blog, which is built on Hugo. Um, so it's a static site, loads really fast, um, and it's really simple. So um, that's currently what it's connected to right now. And um, you can also set it up to use a custom domain. So for example, I want it to be set up here, but the DNS is still, it's still propagating, so it doesn't work right now, um, but Netlify is really cool and they give you a, um, a custom URL depending on your project where you can visit it and test it out. So I can test it out here and then push it to production here. So really, really neat, um, especially if you have client project on the, projects on the side or if you wanna host a smaller site, um, you can do that for sure using Netlify. Um, and then from there, um, you have your deploys pane. And in here, you can see that my my site is live from my master branch. So my GitHub repo, I have my master branch as the production branch. And that's where it's going to pull all the files from. And um, currently, I have it on auto-publish. So every time I make a change in my GitHub repo, um, Netlify picks up on that, and it deploys that, that change. You can also stop doing the auto-publishing, and you can just to trigger de the deploys manually. Um, and that'll kind of save you from maybe if you push something by mistake, um, you can kind of prevent uh, people from seeing it or catching it before people see it um, really easily. Let's go ahead and give you an example of how this works. What I'm pretty much going to do is that I have my file here on my local, which is this right here, and I'll zoom in a little bit. Right. So I have this file right here, and I just added this today. And this is just a quick test so you guys can see how it works. So it has a date for today, actually has a date for, <laughs> for the 5th, um, has a date for the 5th, um, it has some tags, I set it to false because I don't want it to be a, a draft, and then I'll uh, just name, give it a title and some, some text in there. I haven't rebuilt my Hugo, my Hugo site with this yet, so uh, for Hugo, if you don't know, every time you make a change or um, you add something and you want to push that to production, um, you have to rebuild the site. So I'm going to show you guys that right now.
And as you can see, that's the file structure. And what I'll have to do, if you watch this pane, you'll see that it, it's going to create a public folder, and that's what Hugo does. It creates a public folder with your public files, and that's what your site reads. So um, it's going to do Hugo and click Enter. And as you can see here, it created that public file for me. Um, and on the right hand side, you'll see that it generated a site in 100 milliseconds. So that's cool. So once I'm done with that, next step is to push that up to my repo. So I can just do git add, uh, git commit, and my message. Right, so it creates everything that I need. And then um, I can just do git push. Cool, so once that's done, I can just refresh here to show you guys that that push was made up. So as you can see here, it created that public file for me 15 seconds ago. So now, as you can assume, this change is being right now picked up by, um, by Netlify. So if we go back to deploys, and you'll see production from the master branch it says published. You'll see my commit message that I made um, on my terminal. And you'll get the time of when it was deployed as well as how long ago it was deployed. If you click on the actual um, pane, um, you can see that you can get a deploy log and it gives you pretty much all it went through as far as commands to get that deploy done. Um, and of course, you can check this out on the live site or right now on my test site. Um, and that can be done by just going to posts. And you can see that I have a getting started with Netlify there. I'm not sure why it's posting twice. I think it might be my false, something in my files structure is wrong, but this one was the one that I just posted up right now. And that just shows you the title that I made and then a typo <laughs> and then getting started with Hugo. It's really useful if you're doing, of course, your own projects, but also maybe you have a client project that you want to work on and you um, want to show them your the site that you created easy to really do that with with um, netlify and then if they make and if they request any changes you can quickly make them on your local push them up to github and have it deploy on the live site and voila so that's pretty much it for netlify and this video if you guys want to learn a little bit more about hugo um, or other static site generators let me know i'll be happy to make a video on that but please check the site out let me know what you guys think in the comments um, if this is something that's useful to you, would really like to know. So I'll see you guys in the next video and all links will be down below. Thanks for watching.